If your loft hatch consists of just a piece of wood, maybe it's time to do something about it and improve its efficiency. Today I've gave myself a bit of a challenge as this loft hatch has got ladders and it's badly leaking air round all of its sides. So we're going to attempt to insulate this using a two-fold approach. So we've now got the ladder down and you can see there's some cobwebs either side which are blowing quite well in the wind. Uh, it's going to draw a little bit like a chimney left to its own devices and it will reduce the efficiency of an insulated ceiling by, from what I've researched, 20%. So we've cut up a, a bit of beading for the loft hatch out of some reclaimed timber. That's pre-glossed, which will come in handy. Well, I'm up in the loft hatch and the hatch has been closed from underneath. And what I'm gonna do, <coughs> I'm gonna fix this beading in using some sections of draft excluder just for spacing as it's critical the spacing too much compression uh, will mean the hatch won't shut and too little will render it fairly ineffective in terms of air sealing i've well, we now got some beading screwed in place both sides and it's going to get a bit tricky for this bit and that's two sides done. So I've now gone round all four sides. So that should hopefully shut and we're just going to have a dry run without putting the sealant in. And we're just going to test fit the loft hatch before we put the draft excluder in as we've just gone round all four sides. So unfortunately we're not closing this test fit but I can hear it's not far off so I'm just going to try something. So rather than trying to readjust the wood I've just put a couple of washers underneath this catch. Now that may need further readjustment but at the minute it's doing fine. So now that's correctly functioning I think I'll uh, give all the surfaces a good clean up ready to accept the draft excluder. So I've goose stepped into a, a small problem and it may fix itself as we go down the line. I'll just demonstrate what happens when I try and get the ladders down. Uh, catching on the, the wood of the timber I've recently put there. They're only just catching so I think we may be okay once we do phase two. So for now I've re disconnected the ladders and I'm just going to have a good a good clean round there with a, a sponge and a bit of soap or washing up liquid dish soap if you prefer. I want a good base to stick the draft excluder on. I'm just going to fill these little gaps here with a bit of decorator's cork uh, just to keep everything heat wise in place we don't want any escape paths and we'll work that in with my fingers, I always like to give it a secondary push so I've got this quite chunky draft excluder uh, 7mm from Screwfix so we're going to get that installed around the circumference of the new beading. We've now got the draft excluder up there and hopefully it should stay stuck. And we'll have a bit of a gap for the, the catch. So we'll see if it works. Okay, we've had to build this out a bit. We've just put a, a nut behind it and a washer. And that seems to have it nice and secure. So we'll just go for the test fit. And it does take quite a bit of force to shut. Well, it does feel nice and positive as if it's really compressing the draft excluder down. So that's phase one complete. That should be 
pretty close to airtight which is exactly what we want because air tightness is the key to a warm house so the next phase is to increase the height of the ladders so we've got that huge block of wood that's uh, 100 mil that's going to give us 100 mil lift in the height of the ladders so we secured this block of wood using these incredibly long screws and that's uh, worked out pretty well so I'll now refix the ladders so I've got the ladder reinstated and this house as you can probably gather has got quite high ceilings so it's, it's left it a little bit too short so we just use the, the block of wood to put it back to where we were now one thing I did think about, and this would have to be done at your own risk, would be to remove that stop there and mill another square perhaps there. And I can't see any reason why it won't work, but do tamper with that at your own risk. So the ladder clearance has improved. It's still it's still fouling, but it's only very gentle fouling. So I'm not too worried about that. If it causes a problem, I did think about taking a bit of material out there. So I spent quite a bit of time pulling some old staples out of the, the loft hatch door and we're just going to give it a bit of a, a clean. So that's a few decades of filth cleaned off. And the next challenge is to find a good piece of insulation and cut it to the exact size where it can successfully swing up into the loft. A while back I brought this sheet of insulated plasterboard and it is actually a, a hundred out of ten mil but that does include the plasterboard which is not required so that may need to be dispensed of but we'll see if we can keep it. We've marked this up with a five mil clearance either side so we'll see if that is adequate. So I'm in the loft now, we've just had a little test fit and I think it just needs another 5mm shaving off that side I would say. Um, other than that it's quite a good fit. Well, we're in the loft hatch, we've just had a successful trial run now, I've cut that down. I actually cut it down by 10mm instead of uh, 5 So we're going to glue it down now. As so I've got some of Screwfix's finest grab adhesive. Now I could move the ladders out of the way but I can quite successfully work round them. So that is a full tube of the grab adhesive, uh, liberally spread, Jason Pollock style, across both the mating surfaces. So now I'm applying quite a bit of pressure um, without risking falling through the hatch and I'm going to try and keep that up for 10 minutes before we get to the moment of truth. Well, I've been in the loft for 15 minutes and all's looking pretty well. There's a bit of a gap here. Not a lot we can do about that. It's all a bit of a compromise. But there's no side to side movement, which I am really pleased about. So there's a good sign that it has actually bonded. Fingers crossed. Well, we've gingerly lowered the loft hatch and we've just put a a couple of bungee cords round it, it appeared to have bonded quite successfully but while we're playing around we just thought we'll put them on uh, just in case because we don't want to get surprised but it does look to be pretty solid we're just not willing to take any chances well we did a little cheat and got a little bit more length out the ladder by bending that back okay we gave it Oh, about half an hour, done a bit of tidying up and we're going to remove the bungees and reclose close the door on this job I think